Oh, down Cormier goes. Oh no. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Are you listening? Ricky J. Sports. What is going on, my fellow YouTubers? Hope everybody's doing well. We're going to use Mauricio Shogun Hua <laughs> in some B series uh, fights here. We're going to do two fights, and we're already up against it because we're facing Daniel Cormier. And it's so funny because Shogun actually called out Cormier looking for a title fight. He wants Cormier to put his light heavyweight title on the line. And uh, I don't know, man. I don't know how old how um, Mauricio is going to do. He's not actually not that old. He seems like he's in his late 30s <laughs> or 40s. He's in his early 30s, so mid 30s, I believe. Let me know how old he is, man. I don't want to go check my phone, but uh, he's a great fighter. He was an amazing fighter. My favorite moment was when he knocked out Machida back when Machida was running things in light heavyweight and also when um, he came back or he came into the UFC and I think he was just getting married or he just got married and then he fought Forrest Griffin and Griffin they fed him Griffin and he just Griffin just outdid him you know and choked him out in the I believe it was the, the end of the third round oh seems a little slow he's got good leg kicks though so I want to piece up the leg kicks, but you know Cormier is going to be going for takedowns and clenches. Oh, nice. A little home run uppercut there. <laughs> Cormier. Oh, nice. He just seems a little, like, delayed in his punches. Oh, my gosh. Mr. Jangles. <laughs> Look at this. I'm just planting. Oh. Oh. Come on, Cormier, go over to the body. Go to the body. Oh, look it. Oh, I was trying to just thinking that he was was gonna do the uh, oh the old double double kick action. Yeah. Chop down that tree. Get ready for the shoot. Trying to go jab uppercut. Jeez. Yeah. The good thing is, you, I planted the seed for the leg kicks, so now I could target the head. He's doing a really good job of timing his shots and landing a good series of strikes here. Jeez. Kind of telegraph that one. But it was so funny when those um, Pride guys came into the UFC back in the day. They were all juiced up, and it seemed like when they came to the UFC, they were a shadow of themselves. Shogun got it together, but Vanderlei just wasn't the same. Even Nagara, Big Nog, and Little Nog. Oh, oh, take your pickings. He is hurt up top, down low. See that? This guy. I gotta watch out for my head. Oh, down Cormier goes. Oh no! 
Oh my gosh. Oh no! I hate when that happens. So what happens? Is the damage restarted? Is the round restarted? How much? Oh no, he's, he still has a health event. Look at that. Or like his, his head's flashing. Yeah, keep at, keep at those. I don't want to exchange like that. Yeah. Slow him down. It's not coming at me. Be careful. Oh, uppercut. Oh, see. Oh, I'm trying to throw an uppercut. I keep on throwing kicks. Line. Just like when I did the, um, what was it, the one arm challenge. Oh, oh no. Man, if I lose this fight, I'm not going to be happy. That's the worst. I tried to go up high. Just over two minutes to go in round two. Well, Joey seems to have his opponents timing down. He has landed some good shots, but nothing really in terms of multi shot. I'm going to use some more move. I love the subtle movements that I'm working on. Perhaps at this point, he could change up the power with which he throws some of these strikes, maybe alter the tempo a little bit, and try to make it. My head is scrambled a bit. Oh, down he goes. Oh, get him. Yes. Nice little start. We got a victory. <laughs> we got a victory. I'm being patient. Looking for opportunities. That was the word of the World Cup. I don't know if you guys followed the World Cup, but uh, that was the, the word of that whole tournament. Opportunities. Commentators, those English commentators, they loved using that word. But um, we're going to try to do one more. I'm surprised Cormier didn't go for a takedown. And let's see how we do. I'll be right back. All right, here we go, people. Finally, I got a match. You know, I like how they have that connection feature. And for some reason lately, the connections have been, you know, in the reds, man. I try to only take fights that are in the greens. And if it's in the reds or yellows, I back away. But it took forever to find a fight. And I am recording, so... I picked a fight in the reds, so the connection's not the greatest, but um, we're facing... <laughs> it's so funny how I just kind of throw these videos together, man, and sometimes it just falls into place like this one because we're facing John Jones, and this was one of my worst Mauricio Shogun moments because for all you guys that don't know, Shogun was kicking butt and taking names in the light heavyweight division, won the title against Machida, and then I don't know if they did a rematch or not, but he destroyed him I think they fought twice and he destroyed him this I think he lost the first time yeah he lost the first time by a controversial decision and then he won the second time and then um, Mauricio's opponent got injured and they needed a filler so the UFC asked a young John Jones I think Jones was only like 22 and Jones came in and he he killed Shogun and Shogun's such a warrior that he was still fighting his head was just all ballooned up and it was not pretty so it was good to see if you were a Jones fan but terrible if you were a Mauricio fan it was kind of like old school versus new school and the torch was passed that night oh, oh. oh. That's, oh my gosh, one punch from Jones, you joking? I was going to say, that's my favorite combo. Straight body kick. Oh my gosh. Oh, yes. 
Jeez, you see how Jones, he could hit me where I can't hit him. Yeah. Holy smokes, hands. Yep. Wow. Oh boy, we're in trouble. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. Good shot to the body. Let's see what we could do. Most guys I find are going up. Oh my gosh, I screwed that up. Most guys are usually like to go up the middle. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Jones. Oh, I thought we had it. He's gonna sit here. He's gonna try to take the back, I think. He's back in a full guard now. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Might as well throw it up. trap action I gotta stop falling in love with that I find like when I get on my back I try to arm trap too much and sometimes I get KO'd but uh, man that round I don't know if we won I don't know why I turned into a hillbilly doesn't want to touch Shogun go go gadget legs just does not have the le the length. Nice defense there. Huge block. He's not giving up. Oh, multiple strikes landing here. He has certainly found the range here in this round. Nice one two combination there. What does it take to get Jones to get rocked? Oh, there he is. Stop headhunting. Oh, good job defensively to block the strike there by Johnny Bone. And both guys really throwing with authority. Lands a punch there, Joe. Holy. Oh, I hit uppercut. I honestly hit it. I don't know what's going on. Connection. John Jones is punishing the body here. Absolutely, Joe. Debilitating shots to the body. Able to land to the body there with the left kick. Oh. oh, he gets tagged there. Nice combination. Tags him with the left. Well, no issue finding his timing here. Nice series. Jeez, I shouldn't just lean in on that. That one hurt. Nice shot. Jones, man, has a head of steel. Oh, and he continues to effectively employ that jab. We told you he had one of the best jabs in the game, putting it to great use here. Oh. Oh my gosh. You gotta be kidding. So we do all sorts of damage. <clears throat> oh, nice. No. <laughs> go, go, gadget legs. <laughs> Oh man, what a tough loss. Wow, I didn't see that one coming, but we had this guy. But I'll end it off on that note. Man, Jones is long, lean, and mean. Oh, I was leaning back. I should have pushed back a little bit, or dashed back maybe. We can't win them all. I'll get this guy next time. 
But Shogun's good to use. I just wish he was a little bit taller. Wish it was a little bit taller. Wish it was a baller. Who knows the, the uh, singer for that, the rapper for that. But what a finish by Jones. Good fight, my brother, whoever this guy is. Hopefully you're a subscriber. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. All right, have a great day, man. This is Ricky JB from Ricky J Sports. And you are awesome.